Hey friends, it's Chris Westmoreland. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on some things that are happening with the campus expansion this week. Um, just a bit of a midweek update. Exciting stuff going on. Um, you would just want to give you a quick walk through. It's lunchtime, so the construction crew is uh, not totally working right now. It may be a little bit noisy, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but as you can tell, um, we just toward the concrete. Um, it's actually related right to this overpass area where folks will uh, be able to be dropped off there. That'll be pretty cool and pretty exciting. Uh, all of this concrete out here is going to be outside uh, kind of cafe space and gathering space and greeting space for folks. Um, actually out here in the front of the, of the facility as well. So we all know in this day and time in the midst of this pandemic how important um, this, uh, this outside space actually is. But I also want you to think about the fact that we're in the mountains and so you know, nine, nine and a half months out of the year, we, uh, we are primed and ready to be able to use outside space for small group gatherings and such. So um, let's try to take a, take a little bit of a walk through the building. I just want to point out a couple of cool things to you. Um, not as educated as members of our building team are on this particular, uh, this particular uh, uh, tour, but at least I can give you a couple of, uh, couple of things that have happened in the last several weeks. Um, so you can actually tell this is a huge thing this is a huge thing that's actually happened is the front of the church has actually now been kind of covered in this tile um, really exciting stuff they're actually putting tile up inside the foyer area today um, but really really exciting looks really amazing this is the new front door of your church um, it looks super super cool and of course we'll uh, we'll kind of slip around back and you'll be reminded of what folks are actually walking into but they're walking into a, a very nice gathering space just uh, really makes a nice impression and um, it says welcome and of course the whole um, kind of this whole entire build is um, built around this big front door which says hey you know you're safe here to explore your faith uh, come and explore God and explore the meaning of life with us that's kind of the whole point of it so the front door really does say hey so pretty exciting I want to take you uh, into the sanctuary really quickly I know they're working hard in there they were working hard in there last night they're working hard in there again today as well um, I want you to be able to see that all the pews in the sanctuary have been recovered uh, to match the new carpet. So um, when you um, enter back into the sanctuary for what will be the first time in several, several months, you will actually really see a very different kind of, very different kind of space. So we're actually taking a bit of a lunch break right now. Um, but Lori, if you just kind of show folks, you got the gray carpet, and then they have worked really hard to recover all of these pews. And so pretty exciting stuff uh, is happening. The sanctuary is almost put back together within a week or two. They're working on the balcony right now. Probably within two weeks, I would imagine, that as we're able to, given the pandemic, as we're able to gather safely for prayer gatherings inside the sanctuary, we'll be able to do um, at least some smaller group gatherings of 25 folks or less kinds of things. We're working, obviously, um, on having bigger group gatherings out by the tent right now. Uh, and then, obviously, we're working on a plan to try to get everybody back inside uh, for regular worship or a regular schedule of worship as soon as possible. But I don't have a date for that yet. Let's peek around this uh, curtain just to be able to see a little bit of what's happening. This, of course, is that foyer that we were just looking at from the outside. And the playground for that space has been ordered, so that's pretty exciting that that's happening. Everything in this building, everything in the new building has gotten at least one coat of paint. Um, so they're coming back and doing a second coat on it. Of course, see the, the cafe space will be built out in here. Uh, that'll be a main entrance door as well. One I want to poke in here just really quickly, some of the biggest progress that's happened, um, you're going to actually be able to see in the new multi-purpose space. Two major improvements have happened in there since we last did an update. Just two things I want you to notice is up top. I love the industrial kind of warehouse vibe kind of look that, that this space is going to have. But to soften that just a little bit, um, you're obviously going to have acoustical ceiling or you're going to have these clouds. They call them clouds. And it'll soften the ceiling just a bit. And so you already see that they've begun to work 
on putting those up. And um, that's really, again, one of the really cool additions that's happened in this space since we last did an update. You can also see Lori will uh, just kind of zoom in a little bit and show you that uh, we actually have a stage that's being built in this multi-purpose space. So I want you to think about all the different things. There'll be family nights that'll happen in here, movie nights that'll happen in here. We'll obviously have Sunday morning modern worship that'll happen in here. We'll have different concerts throughout the week, different groups performing. Uh, that stage is gonna be a really cool space uh, that's gonna be used by all kinds of different folks in the community um, that are gonna do a really, like it's just really gonna be special. Um, to be able to think about all the different community events that are going to happen in here. And so um, let's walk right back out. I just want to show you the new office space, which is almost completed. We won't go downstairs and show you the new children's classrooms, but they're pretty close to being completed as well. Hopefully we'll be able to do a final update video for those classrooms within the next couple of weeks. And we're actually going to be starting to use those classrooms. We believe we'll get downstairs and be able to use some rooms before we get um, the permanent, um, the permanent um, certificate of occupancy to use the whole entire facility. So uh, let's go check that out. Real quick. disability issues or need to be able to not have to navigate ste steps. Now they'll be able to maneuver the campus without that. Uh, new conference room, which is uh, mostly glass. going to be a really, these walls just actually got put up. Really special space. Um, going to be a lot of meetings are going to be happening in here. Of course, right on the other side of that's where the inside playground is going to be uh, for the kids' space. So let me uh, let's check out this, check out the office suite. Doing kind of Google style offices for the um, for the staff and a couple of reasons for that. Number one, it was just way more cost effective to do it this way rather than to try to build 15 or 20 different offices. That just was not um, in the financial plan. There was one plan in this building where we talked about doing individual office suites upstairs and we were going to have to build a whole other floor and it just was not going to be cost effective. We're actually kind of excited about the fact that um, our staff team really does value collaboration uh, cooperation, teamwork, and so, um, man, our space ought to reflect that we value uh, working together in an intentional way. So that's actually what this space is going to do. Um, it's going to allow us to be able to all work from central space, right? So we'll all have different space within uh, the big room. And then there are four different breakout rooms where uh, there's also a mechanical room uh, to be able to use for uh, like equipment, like copier and those kind of things. But there are four different breakout spaces when we need more private conversations, we'll be able to, uh, to, to have those. But um, yeah, special space, gonna be great. Um, really excited, Long Chapel, for grateful for your patience, grateful for your investment in ministry that's actually helping all of this become reality and so excited about the, the potential um, the potential that we have as a congregation to expand our capacity for ministry by expanding our space and by making more space and more room for more people. So really excited about that. Thanks. We'll try to do another video update in another week or two. Uh, we're seeing things significantly change. Um, Hopefully by early November, we can do some kind of dedication event. We'll do it in smaller groups, uh, but that's actually a plan. And uh, thanks for all that you do um, to help make this happen. And as always, thanks for your prayer support.